it is. Anybody get any sleep last night? Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, I don't have any announcements for us. Do you have any announcements that need to come before the congregation? Any prayer requests? Then let's prepare our hearts and minds for worship with our prelude. Please stand if you're able as we begin with our confession of forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, and have not kept your In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us and for his sake forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please stand as we sing.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. And we pray, all-powerful and unseen God, the coming of your light into our world has brightened weary hearts with peace. Call us out of darkness and empower us to proclaim the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Peace. A reading from Isaiah. Upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have posted sentinels. All day and all night, they shall never be silent. You who remind the Lord, take no rest, and give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes it more and more throughout the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm I will not again give you grain to be food for your enemies, and foreigners shall not drink the wine for which you have labored. But those who garner it shall eat it and praise the Lord, and those who gather it shall drink it in my holy courts. Go through 
Go through the gates. Prepare the way for the people. Build up. Build up the highway. Clear it of stones. Lift up an ensign over the peoples. The Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, say to the daughter Zion, see, your salvation comes. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called Satwan, a city not forsaken. The word of the Lord. We will intone Psalm 97. A reading from Titus. When the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of any works of righteousness that we have done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. This Spirit has poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Holy Gospel comes to us today from Luke, the second chapter. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration that was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. 
Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Jesus. Please be seated. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord God, that you have brought us here today to this house of worship to celebrate the birth of Christ. Thank you. Thank you for beautiful weather. Thank you. Thank you for this beautiful Sunday morning that we may enjoy our time together as we praise your name and worship. And now may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable to you. Amen. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. We have no words from Mary telling us what she was thinking. Of course, a teenage mother with no wealth and no power and no husband per se, Mary had no access to paper. She had no scribe to write her thoughts as she dictated them. And so we have her silence. her silence as she treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. If only she had been rich or powerful, perhaps something would have been recorded. But then Pilate's wife only gets a few words. No, young Mary sitting in a stable, was still a woman in a time when women rarely were recorded at all. If Jesus had been born today, I wonder if Mary would have tweeted the news, hashtag I'm the mother of God. 
Or maybe if Jesus had been born 10 years ago, I wonder if Mary would have posted her status on her wall on Facebook. Or, of course, if Jesus had been born 40 years ago, I wonder if they would have gotten a color photo on the front page of the newspapers and magazines. If Jesus had been born a hundred years ago, I wonder if Mary would have written in her diary. Dear diary, the most extraordinary things have happened. As you know, I was required to ride all the way to Bethlehem for this ridiculous census thing. Never mind that my back was aching so badly from the child. I told Joseph I might feel better walking part way, but he wouldn't hear of it. He's so protected, protective of me and this special baby. I still can't imagine how all this can be happening to me. An angel of the Lord coming to me? Telling me I would bear a child? A special boy? The Savior we've been waiting for? And now I rock this baby on my lap. He looks like any other baby, though being my baby, I think he is the most beautiful of all babies. Of course, I've been almost afraid to touch him since the angel told me he would be holy, the son of God. At first, I just stared at him in wonder, tiny bundle, wrinkled and pink. There we sat in the stable, Joseph carefully attending to both of us while shepherds began arriving. They came in and talked to us, some of them talking so fast I could barely make out what they were saying. They were so excited. They drew quite a crowd, too. I was worried that we would be jostled and hassled and sent away, but the shepherds kept talking about angels who told them to come see us. They talked about singing and praising God and glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. And they tried to sing like the angels did, but they kept interrupting each other, saying it was more like harps or tinkling bells or flutes or tambourines or drums or water or wind, and they were bubbling, yes, shepherds bubbling with laughter and joy. The most amazing thing, though, was the crowd of people who believed them. It was as if they were infected with the joy and wonder by the shepherds. And then, before I knew it, everyone left. Oh, it was noisy departures, but everyone left to tell somebody else. I still can't believe that I am the mother of this baby. I am amazed. When I look in his face, I am filled with wonder and joy and awe. There are no words that can quite describe this experience. And so, with God's blessings... I will sign off for now, dear diary. Obviously, we do not have a diary entry like this one. We have no words from Mary telling us what she was thinking. We have her silence as she treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. May your pondering be blessed by God. Amen.
Please stand if you're able as we confess our faith with the words of the creed. I believe in God. Rejoicing in the good news of Christ's birth and dwelling in hope, let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of creation. Holy God, you raise up leaders throughout the church to proclaim your word of hope. Unite the church through the good news of salvation so that all will know and experience your glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, you created mountains and hills, seas and rivers and all creatures. Reveal to us the goodness of all that you have made so that we live wisely with these your gifts. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our Holy God, you desire that all people live in peace. Guide all in positions of authority to lead with equity and give courage to advocates who speak for the voiceless. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our Holy God, you sent your Son to be our physician and remedy. Strengthen medical professionals and counselors to care for the sick and grieving so that all people experience healing and consolation. Lord, in your mercy. Holy God, you gather us together in community, blessing us with friends and family. Make yourself known to all who participate in worship today and send us forth to serve our neighbors. Lord, in your mercy. Holy God, you show your love and faithfulness in every generation. Through the witness of our ancestors in the faith, you have shown us how to testify to your grace and truth. Lord, in your mercy. Hear Hear the prayers of your people, glorious God. For the sake of the one who took on our nature and form to redeem the whole world, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you.
Let us pray. Praise and thanks to you, holy God, for by your word you made all things. You spoke light into darkness, called forth beauty from chaos, and brought life into being. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. By your word, you called your people Israel to tell of your wonderful gifts, freedom from captivity, water on the desert journey, a pathway home from exile, wisdom for life with you. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. Through Jesus, your word made flesh, you speak to us and call us to witness. Forgiveness through the cross, life to those entombed by death, the way of your self-giving love. For your word of life, O God, we give you thanks and praise. Send your spirit of truth, O God. Rekindle your gifts within us. Renew our faith, increase our hope, and deepen our love for the sake of the world in need. Faithful to your word, O God, draw near to all who call on you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen. Amen. Remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.